Good morning, folks. Things are very calm up at our star right now, but we'll be eyeing intense solar winds stealthily on its way to Earth, while things are already getting a bit scary across the globe weather-wise. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star and see no features of note. Plasma filaments all remaining stable, no eruptions, no flashes of solar flares either. Over in 304 angstroms, we see the brightest areas are surface magnetism only as there is no high helium excitement due to sunspot umbra and their umbral magnetic fields. So without sunspots and as the solar wind begins to calm down at Earth, we are geomagnetically quiet but with a continued electron storm condition once again expected to jump up to level 2 today, now considered an enduring storm. In 211 angstroms, we see the southern coronal hole. Its fast solar wind will arrive at Earth in two to three days from now. And let's transition from here to the lithosphere, where it's always better to see small volcano eruptions and rumbling spread across the globe than large, devastating earthquakes, especially when no one gets hurt from the lava coming up to catch its breath. Speaking of which, a 4.5 struck right on Kotla last night, the scariest volcano in Iceland. Let's hope that one is just summer ice melt, yeah? Quick article share, cautioning all planet hunters and exoplanet enthusiasts about new claims and old ones. They've disproven the existence of three exoplanets that had supposedly been validated already. Moving on, because we've been discussing the monsoon shifts in the east. North Korea has been wondering when theirs would come, but that's not what the shift has in mind. The patterns that emerge as the sun takes a dive towards grand minima include extended periods without rainfall even affecting regions as far southwest as Ghana. Of course, the flip side to the shift is that when the rain does come, it's way beyond what infrastructure in the human psyche can manage. Ghana flipped just like that, and of course, now that the monsoon has arrived in India, we've got way too much rain. Scores are dead already from the landslides and the flooding itself. Be sure to keep tabs on our star over at spaceweathernews.com and especially the electron storm today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.